We're live and direct. Thank you. I thought you weren't going to say it. No, I said direct. Am I right? <coughs> I'm irritated. Yeah. Not happy. He's not happy. James, fuck you. Thanks, James. For, yeah, uh, thanks, James. For coming round. We need to get you on the podcast, although it will be... I don't know whether Tom will get a word in. He keeps bottling it, though, man. He does bottle it. The bottle job. He is a bottle job. Well, I'll act as the uh, referee between you two. Yeah, but then when you tell me that I'm being something, if you you tell me I'm stepping out of line, I'm going to get really angry. Well, I'll, I'll <laughs> slap you around the face. <laughs> <laughs> I had no punishment there. Just went straight to the slap. That's fair enough. Thank you, mate. Um, Yeah. Yeah. You two uh, had a nice debate there, man. Yeah. Yeah. You want to uh, you want to go into it again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 Give us a summary. The summary is that there was a debate on whether the moon landing was fake or legitimate. Which it was obviously fake. So carry on. Uh, okay. Um, there <laughs> was also a debate over whether there would be a colony on Mars in our lifetime, which there obviously won't be. Okay, and there was also a debate on whether technology will take most farming jobs or has taken most farming jobs. Mm. And there was also a debate on whether banks operate independently or as part of a state-run operation. You know what scared me when I read about the uh, the robot that sweats when it gets hot? Have you seen that? Yes, I have. Like, and these robots like work out and shit now. Yeah, but I mean, I haven't looked into this enough. But does that robot actually sweat to cool down? Yes. Does it? It sweats to cool down. Or is it sweating just as like no, no, an aesthetic thing? So the scientists can say, no. "Look, it's sweating to cool down." I, I I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure it sweats to cool down. That's cool, man. I can find it. My phone's died. It's, I, it's, <laughs> that is what I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, Well, it makes sense. It does make sense. Anyway, there's, obviously they put all the fucking big processes in like the coldest parts of the world because it co- keeps them cool. Do you think one day, have you seen iRobot? Mm-hmm. Do you think one day we'll all have like a robot in our house and like it'd be like a fucking maid making our tea and shit? Mm, it'll be an option. Mm. Do you know what? I wonder how Readily much available. I wonder how much they'll start out at. So say like uh it will be like PlayStation, bro. It'll be like PlayStation. The play you know, the 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 robot five will come out and he'll be like two grand, but or you could just buy the robot one who's now like sixty quid. You know what we hear when you can like go on eBay and it's like old iBot two for sale, uh still shitty, makes a crap cup of tea, yeah. starting bid eighty nine ninety nine. <laughs> And they like they bring him in the back of a van. He's all like depressed and like got cobwebs on him and shit. He's just been replaced by the robot four. That'd, that'd be it'd be like circuit board fried, so you can't change his language input. And at the moment, he's programmed to say a lot of swear words. Yeah, he speaks Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. That's the thing as well. They'd have to program them to speak uh, different languages and shit, right? Yeah, I mean, it'd just be... it's not hard to do though, right? I imagine it would just be like. Um... A computer, and it change a keyboard almost. Have you, you seen the the? Um, I think it's the Google phone where you. Uh, I can talk into it, and it will just instantly translate my voice to a different language. Yeah, yeah, it's That's pretty cool. cool. I know. I almost bought it, and then my brother said to me, "When are you ever going to use that function?" I mean, it'd be good if you were traveling, but like in everyday life, like how often have you ever needed to speak another language? Yeah, not in everyday life. I guess it's a good traveler one. Though. Or would you use it more if you had it? I don't know. Traveling, definitely, man. Traveling would be really good. Yeah, it would be great. But it would be great for every holiday. In Thailand. Literally. You could clarify if they're a ladyboy or not. It would avoid a lot of uh, surprise situations. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I know you wish that was invented five years ago. You're damn right. I do, <laughs> mate. Shout out to fucking Paul from... <laughs> Paul, Paul from <laughs> Paul Cross from Paul from Paul from down Blackpool. <laughs> good story, man. Yeah, I want to tell my. Uh, Did you say it's good story, man. Good, <laughs> great times, Paul. Mm-mm-mm. Now you're a listener, mate, out there. You had your way with me. I was a youngin. <laughs> oh God, it's getting a bit dark. <laughs> I was watching something that was funny. It was um, 
they were talking about like how the older generation are like a bit more you could get away with more like back in the day kind of thing and they were saying that like teachers were all like a little bit more like pedo back in the day but they were like you know it was like pedo in a more friendly way though man like they'd watch you get changed slap your ass on the way out and all this shit i was like imagine that these days like um, you would not be able to get away with some of the shit they did back in, like I mean, you know what though, yeah, think about it, yeah. We went to a boys' school, right? Mm. For all we know, we were way too naive, yeah. For all we know, teachers were coming into the changing rooms and pee and Well, I had a teacher that used to tuck my shirt in for me and hands wondered. So did I. Hands wondered. Miss Terry. I wasn't gonna out her, but hands wondered. <laughs> like, <laughs> hands wondered. Yeah, she used to tuck every man's shirt in. <laughs> yeah, just down the line, just shirt in, shirt in, and and puffing on her little cigarettes before we used to come in. Speaking to the mic, mate. Sorry, mate. Puffing into something. Still, uh, episode seventeen. Still ain't grasped the uh, the old microphone, have you? Well, I'm just doing more things than you are, aren't I? I'm taking care of a range of elements. What, your OCD of moving the audio mouse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are also rolling a magnificent-looking spliff there. Indeed, indeed. Mm. Yes, yes. So, yes, yeah, so I went to uh, Shoreditch today and almost killed someone. So I began my day. Tell the ants about how you Tell the killed ants. an ant. So I'm... Uh, oh, also, I, had, I didn't even tell you this. I, I, uh, I got talking to my cab driver, a Somalian guy. Yeah, yeah. Telling me all about like Somalia oh, yeah. and shit. It was quite interesting, man. He reckon. I mean, this could be completely made up, but he reckons. Uh, so he basically has. He he drives an Uber car over here three months a year. The other nine months he lives in Somalia. Right. Uh, him him and his family they do like uh, they lay down like roads in Somalia, and he was saying that a mile of. Mu- I mean, this to me sounds like complete bullshit. But this is according to the my cab driver. Right. He said that a mile of road. Uh, to put down on the motorway cost a million pounds and in Samara it cost a hundred thousand pounds uh, but what happens is the government there's like no road well there's there were a lack of roads in Somalia okay and he was saying that uh, what they do is the government if, if people like took out a contract to put the roads in the government would just it would be corrupt and they just end up taking all the money no road to get laid so he said now they have independent funding from people who like donate money and they take out contractors in Somalia to lay all the roads it was quite interesting and he said that they always go to different companies because they don't want one uh, organization to like monopolize the industry so mm. to help everyone out they give them all work here there and everywhere quite nice. interesting man. that's cool He's saying guess how hot it is in somalia in its peak 45 55 imagine that man that's naughty that's too hot that is naughty imagine trying to have sex in 55 degrees i got to say i remember when we went to morocco there was a, a, a one of the conversations was I remember looking at Faye and going there's no foreplay in hot countries is there Hell and she was man. like what and I was like you don't want to go down there and I don't want to go down <laughs> there <laughs> like not in this heat man you, you know there's like mushrooms growing down there oh god that makes me feel sick um, but yeah so we agreed that it was sort of a, a non foreplay holiday <laughs> what if that's your fetish though man just a little sweat See, the dough has gone no, no, sour. And no, but see, sweaty. look, I don't, I don't mind a little hot and heavy that gets a bit sweaty, but I don't want to come into it drenched in sweat. Yeah. You know I, I want to work up a sweat. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't want to come in there stinking of fucking cheesy balls. I agree. I agree. In the moment as well, man, it's like, if you just like, say you go straight to it and it's just sweaty, smelly. Yeah, I'm not up for that. But you let it grow, you grow, and yeah. it's gradual. And then you just get a whiff of something. It's like could be me, oh, could yeah. be her, Dirty. but I love it. Mm. And it's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> have you ever heard that where it's like, <laughs> have you ever, <laughs> have you ever, been <laughs> get it out, mate? Fucking hell. <laughs> have you ever? <laughs> oh well, is he gonna laugh have, again? Have you ever had it where you're like, <laughs> oh, we did. Where you're like with someone and you just get like a whiff of something. You don't even know what it is. Oh, is yeah. it her or so? Is it mine? Is it cheese? Is it cheese? Is it, poo? Is it piss? It could just be anything, man. Yeah, 100%, man. It's great times. Is it a dangleberry that's just been lurking for four days? You never know. Oh, God. I know I got one of those to pick out later. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there anything worse than a dangleberry <laughs> from a fat dude? I find dangleberry. I mean, they're quite fun to deal with. I don't really get them, ever. I don't wear furry fucking underwear, like. You know, fix that mic, mate. 
furry underwear. Well, like you get a dangle break because you have like cotton underwear, no? No. No? I don't think so. I think the poo just sticks to your bum hairs. A dangleberry is not poo. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. A yeah, dangle. It no, it's not. A dangleberry is uh, like um, like something. It comes off your pants and gets. It's like cotton or something. No, sir. A dangleberry you look is up a dangleberry. little bit of poo no, that's not. caught on your bum hairs. Look up dangleberry. Wow. Oh, and you're talking about picking that out, yeah? Damn right. No. God, this mic. I need to fucking tighten it. Keep falling down. Keeps falling down, mate. Ugh. What are you, I'm scared of what's going to come up when you uh, Google Dangleberry now. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Don't go on images. Um, it's a huckleberry of the eastern United States <laughs> with pink flowers and sweet blue fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, Google. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of turd Here hanging in my crack. Here we go. Dangleberry. A little nugget of turd, <laughs> sometimes known as a poo chunk that gets stuck <laughs> to a man's ass hair. A poo, a poo chunk. Oi, who left a dangleberry on the shitter? I sure hate God. plucking these dangleberries out my ass. <laughs> Dangleberries, dry encrusted pieces of shit that are stuck on your anal hair. <laughs> you know what? We could actually make a podcast just out of reading urban <laughs> dictionary <laughs> definitions. It'd be hilarious. Oh god. That should we is so I feel like we should make this the urban dictionary episode. That is so unattractive. Balled up shit caught in your butthole hair. <laughs> <laughs> when will poo stop being funny, by the way? Wait, but on the contrary of a dingleberry, <laughs> a dangleberry moves side to side. So what's a dingleberry? Around. Is that the one I thought it was? I don't know. Let's let's search a dingleberry. Well, dingleberry me up there, man. There's something about a bit of like cotton being... Why don't you just type it straight into Urban Dictionary? Because I don't trust it. Dingleberry, a foolish or inept person. I thought that's what it was. Or on Urban Dictionary, a delinquent... <laughs> Partial, a delinquent partial turd which grasps anal shrubbery, <laughs> causing brownish crust to accumulate in one's boxes. <laughs> my wife tells me that I need to wipe my ass better because <laughs> my dingleberry is making my underwear the nasty mess. However, I like the idea of her down in the basement doing laundry and cleaning up my foul, nasty underwear. Shall I tell you something hilarious? John from Stoke? That's disgusting. Shall I tell you a funny story? I was in Tesco once, yeah? And it was like a, a 24 hour like late one. And I was in the cereal. Like, you know, you just go into an aisle and there's two people and they're having like a, like a, like a back and forth. You know, like couples kind of like argue. Like, da, da, da. Yeah. I do. And I kind of like clocked that they were arguing that he like bust like a massive fart. Right. And then as I swear to fucking God, yeah, as he come down, uh, as I was in the aisle, I don't think they knew I was there. He let rip this like disgusting fart in it, like loud fart, yeah. Mm. And she was mm. like, oh, for fuck's sake, like Simon, not again. And I was just thinking, how many of these dirty farts is Simon busting? Like, it's just like, ugh. You know them just like disgusting dudes who are just like smelly? He must be busting like 12 a night. You know what's weird, yeah? But she was stressed and then she was like, not again. Like how many fucking oh farts God. is Simon busting? That's been a few then. Mm. That's like 15 deep. Oh, he looked like a smelly guy as well. God, like Post Malone. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> you leave Post out of this. Can you get back to your fucking story you started? One story I do want to delve into first, though, is I watched him on a podcast talk and Justin Bieber rings him, yeah? Yeah, they're, they're good mates. But they just start having this weird bromance. He's like, bro, like, you're the best singer in the world. Um, I fucking love you. Like, you're such an inspiration. Like, saying this to Bieber, and Bieber's like, bro... Like, you're one of the best rappers in the world now. Like, all the success you deserve. I love you. You're a great person. He's like, I love you too, man. He's like, I fucking love you. And I was like, whoa, man. I thought we were gay. No, but that's not... That's not gay. They're not, they're not as good mates as we are, yeah? What they are are two extremely insecure singers, yeah? Who... I wouldn't say Post Malone is insecure, man. Look at him, bro. You think he gives a fuck? <laughs> like, not one fuck is given with that guy, like, Yes, he's still insecure. Well, everyone's insecure on some level, but yes. he's not massively insecure. Hell, he's the hundred percent is massively insecure. I don't know, man. Well, yeah, neither do I. You can't just say that, though. I can. I think they are massively insecure. I think most people who, a lot of people who are trying to become famous, why is he trying to become insecure? famous though? Because he did try to become famous. Not necessarily. Of course, he, he just did. made music. What do you mean? 
it, the first music video he made, yeah, he was in like a fucking top down fucking like Mercedes fucking running around yeah, the that's desert. Not, but loads that's, of people do that. Huh? Just like saying anyone who does a, a job, um, so, so, so does your dad just want to be famous? No, but my dad is massively insecure as well. But we're not arguing that now. Most actors are massively insecure. No, we're not arguing that now. I'm I'm arguing, arguing he doesn't want to... I'm I'm arguing <coughs> he doesn't just want to become famous. He's no, he doesn't to just want so to become saying, are you, famous. Do you just want to become famous? Not just, but on a level, there is a level of me that probably does because I'm very insecure as well. Yeah, but I'm not arguing. Forget insecure. I'm past that one. Okay, well, we, what we, what you what you want then? You said he just wants to become famous. I said that's not necessarily true. You don't know that. Brad Pitt talks about how he loves acting but hates being famous. It comes with it, hand in hand. Not everyone that becomes a singer. So it's like saying every sportsman wants to just be famous then. Mm. Or did they just love football, get really good at it, get scouted, and hell yeah, now I'm a footballer. Cool. Okay, but now you're famous. Look at Paul Scholes, the shyest dude in the world. He doesn't want to be famous. He's just really good at football. You know what I mean? Different. Different in the sense that Paul Scholes doesn't have to advertise himself. He doesn't have to sell himself. Mm, Paul Scholes also does a lot of punditry, bro. Yeah, but he's not. Well, clearly he wants his face on TV. Or does he just want to be a pundit? Or does he want his face on TV? I don't know. Well, who wants to be a pundit? What is a pundit sitting around with your mates talking about football? Yeah, the best job in the world. Thierry gets paid four million pounds a year to watch the odd football match and talk about it. <laughs> the best job in the world. Well, yeah, but then we're, we're, where are we drawing the line though here? Well, yeah, for sure there's dudes who want to be famous. Yeah? No, but I'm but saying... Not but every then, single yeah, but then, so you're telling me Thierry doesn't want to be on TV every day then? I don't know. Well, he must do. Why is he doing it otherwise? Well, he wouldn't do it for free. So if, they, if they said to him tomorrow, oh, uh, Thierry, sorry, um, we're going to withdraw your four million a year. We need you to work this year for free. He's going to say, um, no. Okay, well, he also wouldn't have played football every day for the rest of his life for free. No. That's but once he knows his value. I just think no one starts yeah, out wanting to that, be famous. Yeah, but at that stage, right, if he really if he really wants to be a pundit, right, mm. he could start a YouTube channel, right, but let's, uh, let's with a bunch of mates who are also famous, right? They'd be guaranteed an audience and they wouldn't have to get paid off it. And it would be way easier probably in some ways. But why wouldn't he want to get paid? Because if he just really wanted to be a pundit, then it wouldn't be about I don't money know, necessarily. Punditry is different. That's going down like a weird route because it's mostly ex... Like what I'm saying is... Because punditry is mostly ex-players who have already done well. Like I'm wrong here on some level, on a lot of levels. But, yeah. But I think you're arguing... we figure it out. Yeah, how we're, exactly. we're, we're figuring it out. So what yeah. I'm saying is... I know I'm wrong on a few levels here. Okay, so what I'm saying is 100% of people who... Or, all right, that's, that's wrong. Let me start again. The majority of people in sport playing i'm going to take sport because it's it's different to music and it's why i know about yeah but sport no see i don't like the example of sport because to me sport is is less about an ego to me sport is more like but why why is it's very it's it's no because to me sport right yeah but let me just finish wait, 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 there's no difference between a, a guy who's 10 loves football so starts playing all the time and a guy like you who loves music and thinks okay i want to give this a go you Th- didn't write your first song difference. and think i want to be famous no, but there is a difference between someone who plays football on a field with his mates, right? Yeah. And someone who wants to get on stage with a guitar and have hundreds of people watching him. Uh, yes. That's that that's that's yeah. my point on that front is that a lot of people who want the music side of it rarely you'll have a football player. But is there or, not or a footballer young... who dreams of playing in front of ninety thousand people at Wembley? I don't think in the same way. Not at all. No. I disagree. When you hear people, oh, I want to play in the Champions League final, I want to play in the World Cup, the biggest stage. Y- yeah. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Why not, though? Okay, yeah, it can't, it, in some ways it is. But because they're not... F- because... All right, I don't know here, yeah? But when I hear people speak, yeah? Like, a young kid playing football mm. would be like, oh, I want to play against Barcelona, or I want to play against Messi, or I want to play with... You know, it's about what you're doing at that time. And then you'll have someone else being, I want to play to a crowd of 80,000. 
That's what musicians would say a lot of the time. Not okay. I'm 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 generalizing here, but you hear that more from the music side than you do from the football side. So you know, I, you know more about these dudes than me. But from what I see of musicians, yeah, and this is what I would say with boxers. When when there's uh, when you're in an industry where you have to promote yourself and sell yourself in order to make money and get your work across. It's very different to any other profession. So everyone's like, oh, why are footballers always so boring when they do interviews? Yeah. yeah. They just give these like uh, generic media trained questions. What do you think their interviews would be like if they didn't get paid? They got paid based on how many people watch their football match. Yeah. Be think of all the, think of when Arsenal played Tottenham, it would be fucking Jack Wilshere and Deli Alley going back and forth yeah, and it would be wait, like crazy. But, yeah, but also at the same time, they are paid depending on how many people watch them. They're paid way more than League Two players because no one watches League Not Two. Not necessarily. Yeah. Okay, so if... if uh, Half the money comes from TV, right? Okay, so listen. So if... Uh, and sponsorships. And sponsorships only give them the money because they get seen on TV. To to extent, extent. However, it's not the same as if... Uh, if if you have a Europa Cup game and we're playing some team that no one's heard of and the, the stadium sells... 45,000 uh, yeah, yeah. tickets instead of 65 but... that does not affect their wage and they couldn't give a fuck if a boxer sells out half his arena that whole event's gone to shit and yeah. he doesn't get paid as much yeah. so it's completely different like, yeah it, it, it's different yeah and so what I'm saying is my my uh, experience of these singers is they're all kind of like they just t- uh, maybe this is them just bullshitting but they seem to just love music and they've just got really good at it and now they're famous and it's like okay let's make the most of this is that not true? Or is that... Yes, in a way. Like, fame comes with it rather than, oh my God, I want to be famous. And I don't think you get as good as they get if you're... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like true. like you say, if you're just doing something for money or fame, it's never going to work out. No, they're not doing million. it just for money and fame, though. No, they love it, man. That's why they're so good. Like, But there's a reason why certain personalities want to do certain things. Yeah. Right, I, I, you know, you don't want to play a guitar in front of people unless you want people to clap you and be like, "Wow, that's really good." You want, yeah, right, Mm -hmm. to some extent. I mean, that might be general as well, but no, that's like a more, yeah, I agree with that. So I just mean from that point of view of it, kind of demands attention in some ways. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're, it's it's very individual. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when like I just think that whenever I just think in life, whenever you start something, I don't think you ever think. Or some people will will, will say that. Oh, I knew I was gonna like McGregor. Oh, I knew I was gonna make it. But I think the majority of people just start because they enjoy it. They like it. Yeah. Then they get quite good at it. Someone tells them they're no, good. But look, so they the keep fa- doing no, it. No, no, no. But the fact like, of the matter is, no one knows they're gonna be famous. Yeah. But a lot of them, once they're famous, will say that because. They did most of their life vision themselves in a, in front of a crowd of a million people. So that mm-hmm. kind of is it's not knowing, but it's like I already thought this would. I thought this could happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's McGregor just as well. says I knew it was going to happen. He didn't know it was going to happen. Obviously. You say that though, but there's a a video of him where he's four. His record is four and one. Yeah. Have you have you seen the video? It's worth looking it up, man, and, and putting get, going it up on YouTube. It's, it's worth watching the first minute. We got George has told us off for this, but what's he say? So basically, he's just he's uh, no one knows who the fuck he is. Like his last fight was in front of like a hundred people, and he goes, uh, "My name is Conor Gregor. I'm four and one. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be the UFC champion. I'm going to yeah, have hundred yeah. millions of dollars, more money than what to do with, hold both belts, blah blah blah." And he literally just does what he says. But then again, he's the exception. Yeah, but then again, it's an attitude, brother. I'm sure there's a million people who have said that into a camera and you've never seen it because they yeah. never got famous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I guarantee you millions of people have said yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. <coughs> and also, he's big into I've the... I've said uh, it before. Yeah, he's big into the law of attraction as well. So yeah, So he's exactly. always like putting it out there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a foggy subject. I just... Yeah, it is. I just think... As well, music's tough, yeah, because like... So I just listened to one of your songs, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you're a... Let's say, if you're a tennis player, yeah? Yeah. Say now you're, you're like, oh, Tom, I love tennis. I've been playing, blah, blah, We can go to the park and you can whoop my ass at tennis, yeah? And I can watch you serve and it's amazing. You hit the ball really fast. Yeah. 
but music is like like more objective someone might subjective. think that's amazing someone might be like that's terrible someone's like oh that's alright someone's like oh my god I can't stop listening to it yeah it's so it's weird like yeah but music also has you can't deny when someone's good at playing the guitar true but how many people of our age download a song and oh look listen to the in, listen to the trombone in the background listen to the fucking guitar like I think most people listen to the song right uh, I'd say that's it's fifty fifty. I'd say lyrics to music is definitely fifty fifty. Really? Yeah, big time. I've I've I'm, bro. That's why fucking trance is bare big. Oh yeah, trance man. Yeah, he's he's sick. Trance is a genre. Yeah, like you dubstep, tell me who trance like is. Like dubstep bro. and drum and bass. Wow, have you just got me? Fuck man. Um. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, look, they don't edit this out. Yeah, there's no. We're no, not we're not out, no, it's gonna be great material. Um, <laughs> no, but 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 think how many music uh, genres don't have lyrics. Think think of like, yeah, but how big are they? Massive. But yeah. Okay. Take out people who are on pills, MDMA, and all that shit in a club. Massive. Okay. Uh, I'm I mean, just asking. I don't know. Okay. No just think of all the. Uh, just think. Think of. People playing drums and shit. Everyone's dancing and fucking no, loving it. No, I get it. that. But okay, so name me one big fucking drum song without lyrics in the charts. None. Okay. Name me one guy oh, just okay. playing the piano. None. All right, but what about... Um, God, we're a bit loud here, sorry. But you're saying 50-50. Huh? You're saying 50-50. But it, is, it is... I know a lot of people who listen to rap, yeah? Who but don't really know what the rap is saying, yeah, but you, you, they love the flow and they love they love the sound. Yeah, but they you're you're sound. like an artistic dude, and you you, yeah. you you know people who are like that. I'm talking about the average Joe on the street who doesn't really. They just hear a song. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, the average Joe on the street is the same, bro. You hear a song and you you like it, bro. When you first hear a song and you like it, yeah. Mm. It, do you know everything that person has said in that song? No. No, you get Never. you get a nice vibe off it, and then you learn the lyrics later. Lyrics are actually kind of secondary a lot of the time, and then you learn to love the more the the song more because yeah, you right. love the lyrics. But at the start, you're getting like a vibe off the instant sound. Yeah, you're right. That's true. But then again, that, that so yeah, but see, yeah, you are right. It's foggy. But it's, no, you're right. But I'm still not appreciating each instrument. I'm just that to me is just a set. But you are right because those instruments make the tune. But I, I don't know. I can't explain what I mean. I'm a retard. I'm kind of high. I don't know. There's. I listen to songs sometimes, and I, I'll be like, "Oh, bro, like the fucking trumpet in this is so ping." Like, mm -hmm. and there's. Th think of like Phil Collins, yeah, who got that that mad drum <laughs> solo, bro. That was yeah, it was a great song. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We need auto tune on the ready for these bits. I can feel it. Do you think yeah. the advert that with the gorilla made that song more famous than it ever was? No, because I mean, it, it, gave it, it gave it a second life. <laughs> a rebirth, no, yeah. Yeah, that song, because that song was like in the 70s and it was massive. It, was it sold classic. millions, man. Classic. But you know what? And then he gave it to a gorilla to make a Cadbury's advert. But like an, inter like an interesting example here, that there's a guy who comes to the pub, yeah, who is was the tour drummer for uh, Motorhead. Okay? Mm. Now, Motorhead are like a... Death metal. Is that the guy band. I saw? Yes, I think okay, so. Yeah. They're, they're like a death metal band, right? And then he had had a band afterwards with one of the guys from Motorway called Freeway, and no one knows who the fuck Freeway is, yeah. Mm. But go on Google; they've sold twenty six million records. Really? You know what I mean? It's and again, like like you said, who like some of these Spanish songs, yeah, get more views than like we're not in the realms of a lot of what's going on. Yeah, there, there are Spanish songs out there with like. 7 billion views do you know bro? what made me appreciate we don't know this anyone who well. watched them though do you know like there's like these like Bollywood actors who are like superstars superstars you wouldn't man. know who he was if you walked into your room now yeah I see I never appreciated there's definitely stars in the western world who they know and love and da 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 yeah but there's so many like like you know when you go to like Spain like when I went to Fuerteventura there was some dude always playing and the chick was like yeah like this guy's like huge over here mm -hmm. and then she was an Irish girl and she put on like this like Irish dude playing a guitar and singing he yeah. looked he looked like your average dad who comes to watch a football game yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. he was like some massive country singer in Ireland mm. and I was like I would never know who this dude what, is like. 
the man. Uh, did you ever watch the documentary Sugar Man F- or Finding Sugar Man, looking for Sugar Man or something like that? What was it? Um, per- me- it? Maybe. So this dude made a record, yeah, mm. and somehow it got to like South Africa and shit and sold millions upon millions of records, right? Mm. And he didn't know for like 25, 30 years, no right? Way. And like 30 years later, someone just finds him and is like, hey man, by the way, you're the most famous guy in South Africa. But how was like, it? Like you have sold millions was it not making on millions money, of records. No, I don't know. I, watch the documentary and it, I, I, I actually watched it so long ago, I, I cannot give you Can many we look facts. him up? I want to hear yeah, about this. Let's look it Can up. Can I oh, pierce while you describe this? But then I do want to know myself. Oh, what, you need another pierce? You've already had two since you got here. I've drunk two cups of tea and a giant litre bottle of Barocca. My mic is just falling apart as we speak. <laughs> yeah, you need to sort that shit out. Why don't you pause it while I pierce, sort your mic out, and we'll come back to you. And we're back. We're back. Um, yeah. So. That was smooth. Can I just say one thing? Do you yes. ever go for a piss, yeah, and just let your wang hang? <laughs> do you ever do that? What do you mean? What does that mean? Like, so normally, like, you would, uh, you would put the position between your thumb and fingers. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. For me, I double what, hand. Freeway, I yeah. double hand normally to aim. You mean ride with no handlebars? Yeah, just ride with no <laughs> handlebars and just hangs. And you just look down, it just looks up at you like, oh, it's bro. great. Yeah. It's oh, great. you let it's you, looking up. You it looks up at you and says, <laughs> "Pissing in your own face." It looks up at you and says, "You let the dog free." <laughs> <laughs> who I'm, let the? I'm it looks up and goes, "Who let the dogs out?" <laughs> 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 but it's like a treat. I let him out. Yeah. Only yeah, like after yeah. ten though, man. When there's no one else around, I just let him out. Oh, sometimes I let him out early morning, little run out in the morning. Oh yeah, man! I let that bad boy out. <laughs> I let that bad boy out. Um, but yeah, we were talking about Sugar Man. Um, oh yeah, hit us with Sugar Man. I didn't. I didn't do any research while you had a pee. Maybe I'll tell my uh, almost killing someone story at one point. Maybe you tried to start it. I tried to get you back on it, and then you didn't go back on it. Mm, it's an issue. We're working on it. Uh, Sugar Man, da, 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 which details the effort in the late 90s of two Cape Town fans, uh, Stephen Sugar Segerman and Cray Wehmer Strident, to find out whether the rumor. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Read the fucking sentence, man. Jesus. Um, basically, they thought he was dead, these fans. Because this had got so big and no one knew who he was that everyone thought he was like dead and it was like proper old. Okay. But they found him. He best have got paid. Yeah, he did eventually. He 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 made bare pee of it. So yeah, um, yeah. They're not giving me much information here. We need to watch the documentary before we talk about this. But you said you had, mate. So yeah, but again, and more recently. But essentially, he didn't know he was famous. Or rich. Or rich. You hear about like um, someone like clean out like their loft, and uh, they'll find like a twenty-five grand scratch card or something like. Mm, nice. But you just think like, fuck, man. My nan's neighbour won a bunch of money on a scratch card. My granddad won like ten grand on spot the ball. You remember that one? Yeah. Back in Did like really? back in like the seventies. They or brought the that 80s. back now. You know that? Have they? Yeah. I see fucking DT and Ian Wright talking about it. They brought it back. Yeah, it's a good one. Or it's David C. It's a good game. It's stupid. It's yeah. fucking impossible. So hard. My uh, stepbrother and stepsister's dad won the lottery. How much? I can't remember. A few million, I think. Sent me a couple mil. And I thought that at the time, hey, hey I'm your bro, ex-wife's love you, new husband's kid, kid, kid. <laughs> Throw me a bone, bone, bone. bone, bone. bone. You're just looking at me like, nah. <laughs> You're not even cute, kid. Nah. <laughs> you got a go big play face. With, go, go, hey, man. <laughs> go play with traffic, kid. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. Go kick rocks. Well, I've left the big face insults a lot lately, so I, think, I feel like I need to bring it back. Yeah, I thought my face shrunk. I nah. was like, Jesus, they've stopped going for the face. <laughs> There's certain jokes with your friends that will never die. Never die. Like you'll always be uh, when we when it's you, it's always Jew or small. Yeah. Uh, when it's me, it's big face or fat head mm-hmm. um, or fat dick. Uh, where, do you know what I mean? I'm, I was about to say, God, You're such again, a loser with your fat dick. Yeah. Hey, fat dick. <laughs> you know, what makes me laugh. Yeah. Hey, big dick loser. <laughs> when uh, they do like a sketch in South Park where the bullies are gay, and they're like, 
oh, look at how, look how gay you are sucking my dick. Like, oh, they're like, let's go to the change rooms and pull all the boys' tails off and call them gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the base. That's basically conf- just like talking about the fact that that's how people are. And all them bullies in the back in the day used to pull little kids trousers down and shit they were gay what are they doing they're trying to look at a kid's dick really did you have a guy at school when you were like I'm talking like infant school so you're like seven or eight who would pull his trousers the whole way down to his ankles to take a piss just arse out I do that sometimes really (laughs) (laughs) do you yeah do you really yeah well arse out yeah you were that weird kid (laughs) yeah oh (laughs) were you really Bro, just well, it's oh, free. You feel the god. wind in your crack. Oh god, you're a serious. It runs kid. down your crack through the gooch and then pushes the fluid. What a great podcast! You learn. We're learning about each other. We learn. We learn. We live and we learn. You let your dangleberries just hang. <laughs> god, that's disgusting. There was this guy. He was called. I think his name was Timmy. Timothy. Timmy. He had long blonde hair. And I said. Apparently, I went home. I said to my mum. With your long blonde hair. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> I can't take you seriously in your fat Homer t-shirt. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Jordan's wearing a t-shirt. <clears throat> can't speak. It's a it's a Hawaiian shirt. It's a look up Simpsons fat Homer shirt, and that is what Jordan's wearing. It is the exact same shirt. I bought. I wear so the jumper I told you about. I went back and bought. I bought. I bought some funky shit today, man. Yeah, I saw. I look funky. Jordan didn't like it, but James liked it. It's one of those. James uh, loved it. It's either love it or hate it. Mm. It's one of those, man. It's a very out there jump. I wish I could show you. I like plain and simple. Yeah, see, this is the thing, though, man. Like, I want to branch out and develop my own style a bit more. That's cool. As I sit here wearing my plain grey tracksuit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with my white boy hair and my Nike trainers. No, but I want to. I want to. Like, I've bought some funky sh- jackets and shit in the past, man. Like, yeah, like, yeah. You branch out. I just think you have to like. Um, as you get, I think as you start getting a bit older, yeah, you have that old style that, that safe style you had when you were like in your tw- early 20s i think i remember i had safe hair which used to be the, f- the, the, the did you for the bleach blonde no hair no, no but you i used to like flatten at the front and then spike it up at the back but remember that look yeah, your fucking used McFly to do that. look yeah everyone used to do that though it was just the safe look i didn't have that i had the uh one on the back and sides three on top gelled down oh, oh. yeah 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 God. And a lot of you went for the shape up as well, the white boy shape up. I had the borders, borders on the back and mm. shit. Do you remember Dale? Borders and back spikes. <laughs> Classic hair, man. Yeah, I don't know. I said, oh god, that hair was weird. If you think back classic to it, uh, and then it is a classic. And then look. there was James had his uh, bowl phase. Oh, it wasn't his bowl. It was like the Arctic monkey phase. James had his bowl phase. I don't have the nose for it's a the one, indie phase. for a one, <clears throat> for a one and a three though, man. You got to have a little face for that. Mm. like a little Jason Statham head yeah. little pea head you could see being bald but even you I don't. Mm. I didn't used to like it when you shaved your head that much I yeah. think you look better with longer some hair some people say that, yeah some people uh, Shahob used to say I look like a pigeon when I shave my head not a pigeon but you don't have like um, like see if when I shave my hair on the sides yeah it's like spiky mm. yours looks like someone's like tattooed hair on your head <laughs> like it's never spiky because you have fluffy hair it's never spiky it's just thin thinning and dying <laughs> um, like your soul like my, my soul's already thin and dead <laughs> <laughs> um, what um, tell us about this lady you nearly killed today shit man shit shit yeah, man. shit you don't even well, I got as far up. as the Somalian road layer so uh, do you know what one <laughs> thing I'll say is wrong part of the original I will story. get to this fucking story but one thing I'll say is God you know like a cabbie yeah He's like your average Jew. Like, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Give him a finger, he'll take the hand. So it's like... Did you just say he's like your average Jew? Yeah. So, like, you throw him a bone. You throw him a bone. Like You can tell they want to talk to you. How's your day? You can just tell. And I'm on my phone. I'm on the way to a job interview. I want to try and, like, get my mind in the right place. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play ball with you. We're going to have a little chat, yeah? Mm -hmm. Talk to me for a couple minutes. Fucking, how long was my journey? 40 minutes? Non-stop non-stop <laughs> come on man like you know what I mean yeah I just go to sleep I just close my eyes I like to talk to people man and I like do you know what I like no, about I'll t- chat to them but then I'll be like you know I'll I go always, silent and go as, I was, as I've got older I've started doing I ask people about their culture and I ask them about where they're from and shit yeah, I, like, yeah. I find that interesting because it's something that I'm like like I said to him what would happen to me if I went to Somali he goes you get kidnapped within the first day <laughs> nice he doesn't know I'm a black belt in jiu jitsu so obviously I didn't bring that up but yeah well There'd be some people with some 
stiff necks. Snap C. You just find Snap arms city. and shoulders everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so he lets. So we park up in Shoreditch, uh, do you know, Old Street High Road. Yes. So park up in Old Street High Road, and uh, I open my door on the pavement side. Okay. So the left hand side, and like, as I open the door, not on my hand, but I feel the door like vibrate. <laughs> So like, uh, but not even that hard. And I look down, and there's just this woman, <laughs> a pile. This was just a pile of bike wrapped around this woman's skull. <laughs> and I'm no, like, not for laughing, man. weirdly, yeah. And this is very unlike me. Yeah. Weirdly, I couldn't give a fuck. Am I a serial killer? Maybe. <laughs> it was her haircut. It bothered me from the minute one. It bothered me. You know that, like, uh, you deserved it. Type in like, oh, yeah, there used to be a thing on Facebook. You know the girls who have the blonde hair and it's like sort of diagonal looking? Oh. With like a fringe, the diagonal fringe. Oh, yeah. And it's like cunt haircut. And it used to be a thing. She had that. Uh. So she's underneath, the, her bike is under the door, right? Right. So I've opened the door further and then shut the door to like unwrench her stuck bike from my door, yeah? Mm-hmm. I then secondly go to reopen the door to be like, oh shit, are you okay? And she just goes, boom, and smacks the window where my face is, yeah? <laughs> so that's not when I laughed. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I, I still, like, weirdly, like, didn't really know what was happening. Yeah, so I wasn't yeah, panicking. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I wasn't like, oh, my God. I was just, like, in this weird nothing's yeah. happened phase. Yeah? I don't know why, <laughs> which is weird. Really, normally when some shit happens, I'm on the ball. Like, the anxiety gets going. Mm. This didn't happen. <laughs> So then I try and open the door again after she hits the window to be like, I'm sorry, yeah? And she tries to grab inside the cab, yeah? Yeah. So as she's gone to grab, I've quickly shut the is door. Is she up by this stage or is she just... No, she's up. Trying- oh, she's, she's up. up. She yeah. gets up, boom, hits Bang, the window. Yeah. Okay. As I go and open it, she's trying She's trying to like get in the cab yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. So I shut it again. And then I think I laughed, but I think I said, fuck you, crazy bitch. Like, oh, okay. as if I'm laughing. But right. I don't, maybe I just said, fuck, you're crazy or something like that. <laughs> and then that's triggered her. And she's like, don't you fucking laugh at me. You fucking cunt. Ah. I could have fucking ah. died. And I can't, I'm, I'm finding the situation comical. It sounds horrible, but I just did. Because she wasn't her or anything. Yeah, if she was yeah, like bleeding, yeah. I'd have been like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I try and open the door for a final time and again she goes for me. So I shut the door again, <laughs> laughing, and then she just rides on her merry way. But then I, what was awkward is I'm getting out of the fucking cab. So I have to like get out. There's a bunch of people who have obviously seen it, looking at me, all the cars behind have seen it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just feel like, Jesus Christ, oh my man. God. Not what you need 10 minutes before a job interview. No, not at all. Not at all. But yeah, the job interview, uh, the lovely... A uh, homosexual gentleman who uh, questioned me, who interviewed me, questioned me. Um, yeah, continue. Yeah. I don't. Uh, we don't need to bring up the. Yeah. Anyway, carry, carry on. We uh, let's just say I got the job and leave it at that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I apologise to the LGBT crowd in. Let's just say I'm earning double salary. For this guy, Jesus Christ, he won't stop. Let's just say I went for the assistant manager, now I'm part owner. <laughs> He's like, you got to part own this dick if you want to part own this company. <laughs> <laughs> so I fully own that dick. <laughs> you know what's weird though? How you, Where your brain goes? Like, as soon as he introduced himself to me, I just thought, oh, you're a gay guy. Yeah. Not even in a horrible way, nothing wrong with it at all. And I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. He was a really nice dude, but it's just the first thing that came into my head. Yeah, but then it's like anyone you make an you immediate s- judgment. Yeah, on but someone. you do that on, anyway. Like, oh, you wear a suit. Oh, I imagine you work in an office. Oh, you've got yeah a n- nice work. You probably make good money. Oh, I had you- the idea. I had the idea where uh, for the picture where you have the guy wearing the nice suit, nice Rolex, uh, begging for money, and then the homeless dude walking past him. Yeah, I'm still gonna make millions off that. Off that one picture. Yeah, I feel like that picture exists. Maybe I'm the South African dude, and it already happened. And it's I've. But it's your, you it's made it idea. happen somehow. Yeah. And they're like this Tom Harper, he came up with this. This is amazing. You I don't know where this accent is from, it. but it's uh, from somewhere. Hopefully it happens now, because now you've kind of got copyright of it, because we'll have a date of when you said yeah, this you on ants. mic. I've patterned that idea, you ants. We've patterned a few ideas. We're innovating we and just, changing. We just we're not just changing media, anything. we're changing the world. We can't remember any of them, though. There was something with a, a fug, fug life bear. Like a teddy bear, but yeah. a fug life teddy bear. And there was another one that was really good, but I can't remember. Well, I, I 
told this to you before we started. What do you think about... So, the job was advertised, I believe... I could be out by a few thousand here, right? But it was I believe it was advertised for 32,000. Right. Right. Before the job interview began, I didn't know this. I knew I'd, I'd applied for the job, but I didn't know what the salary range was. And he said to me, what's your expectation? And I said, like, around 30. Mm. High 20s, 30, yeah? Um, which is high for starting out a job. Doesn't. But I just thought... Very nice salary. Yeah. Well, it is. It's a nice salary for anyone, but it's a high salary to start out. 100%, yeah. So... I ain't going to say names because I don't want to get outside. But so someone we know who's now on like 30 or 32 or 30 or whatever started on like 17, he was saying. Mm-hmm. So like it shows you like, so to start on yeah, that, yeah, it is a lot. Sure. So yeah. whatever. But the job is advertised as 32, right? So right. whatever I <laughs> think is regardless. So at the end, he goes, oh, so what's your salary expectation? And I was like, well, we've already had this conversation. So I just repeated it. I said, oh, high 20s. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I didn't want to like look greedy. So I was like, oh, um, if it was a job I was excited about, I'd take like mid to low twenties, da da da. Even though I wouldn't. Hashtag <laughs> hashtag want to be rich. Uh, yeah, and then he goes right. Well, that's not how you become rich. But yeah, carry on. Correct. And then uh, trying to make a joke, but yeah, way to, way to kill it, bro. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> I'm so sorry. God. I got serious there. You got way serious. Sorry, man. man. I'm just such Keep a cunt. Light. Keep sorry. it light. Keep sorry. it light. Keep it light. Yeah, and then he goes. Oh, and then he just came out. He goes. Oh. And I kind of wanted to like question him on it, but it just sort of like didn't. It was like when I told the story about the uh, counselor I saw when she goes, "Oh, you've got to pay for the missed session," and then I went through the whole session was fine, and then left and was like, "Oh shit, like that's fucking a bit wrong." Yeah, yeah. It was like that. So he goes, "Oh, it's uh, it's a uh, twenty-two star." He might have even said twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty something in it. So say twenty-one or twenty-two. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck. Okay. Who gives a shit? Yeah. So he goes, "Blah blah," with uh, four to eight thousand commission. So maybe up to like 30, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. But I just thought, as I left, I was like, for one, you've brought me in on a job interview where I've told you I want to earn 25 to 30. So say completely take out the fact that uh, you've advertised it for 32. I've said I want to earn a specific amount and mm-hmm. you haven't said, oh, I apologize, this this is this. Yeah, yeah. You've just like weirdly said, okay, fine, yeah. come and meet me. And then add on to that, you've advertised it for like ten grand more than what well, you're you've offering. got. You've got a second interview, right? So that's definitely something you got to bring up. Yeah, hundred percent. But it's just it's it's uh it's shady, and I think like it's like it's, it's starting off on the wrong foot, man. Like, yeah, I hear you on that. Do you know what I mean? It's just like already, yeah. it's just bizarre. But then I just like, don't expect any but better if, from people. But then, so say if he said to me, and this is completely fine. So say he said to me, uh. Like they haven't offered me anything, but say he said, uh, "Right, I've looked at your CV. You've got great qualifications. Um, you don't have experience in a managerial role, so I'm willing to offer you twenty. And then if after six months we review it, you're doing great, yeah. then we bump you up to twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just the way they just say it, and it's like, okay, well, why have you brought me here when I've people said- get so fucking weird about money in it? Yeah, like they just." <laughs> They'll try and and take these little routes to just avoid talking he about. He kept talking it about overhead. So he's like, you know, overhead. Like he had like this, uh, like a uh, uh, Irish, mild Irish accent. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, uh, yeah, like you know, these overheads and like you know, and then he, we were in a coffee shop, so it was loud, and he spoke so quietly, so it was hard for me to hear him. Yeah. And you know me, I can talk loud, so I'm trying to like, yeah. I'm trying I had to make to turn you down like three times. I'm trying to make myself today. louder to encourage him, him to talk louder oh and then he's going How more into it. you go i went loud <laughs> people at the back heard me bro i was <laughs> fucking going loud <laughs> you've been going loud today like i said i've had to turn you down three times really you're on three t- well not three times quieter but you're way quieter than you are on every other but podcast this is the thing do right you know now. what's interesting i think we should look in you, you for some reason become an old woman when it comes to staying up late i we i i think you are but for me I have the most energy at this time. Half eleven at night, I'm I'm good to go. When we do the one o'clock podcasts, I feel like jaded and shit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like. I feel Why are you now. telling me I'm a woman? Oh, bro! Like, we were going to do the podcast, but it's like half eight now, and like, yeah. Yeah, but that's because the late ones are phasing here. I can't tell her to stay downstairs at like eleven at night, and like she wants to go to bed. Do you hear that, lads? Which Look, bro, life's life, isn't it? Sorry, lad. You know, I'm trying to give you energetic podcast, and he's coming at me with this kind of... I'm glad that's on record. 
I'm what are you glad, talking about? I'm glad that's well, on what's record. What's on record? What do you mean, bro? Oh, no, it's fine. The these, ants. these are my hours as well. I thought you were going to say these are my ants. <laughs> and I will serve you podcasts <laughs> when we please. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are my hours as well. Look, this is when I thrive off life. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, yeah. This is so, our time, right? Yeah, I know, but... We're a couple of night owls. Yeah, but you know it is what it is, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 right, um... So, what 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 are you thinking about his job? Is it good good to go? Or are you you taking it if it, if they offer it to you or what? I don't know. I I I haven't sum it up. I haven't thought one about sentence. It. To sum it all up. We need some more money. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the money. I want some more of that shit. <laughs> um. No, it's not all about the money, man. Like like I would rather do something I enjoyed for less. Yeah, and it's not necessarily a job. The reason I went for the job, so the job was an assistant it, manager. The reason I went for it is because I thought thirty-two grand. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. That I'd pr- be it prepared doesn't to do sound to me like the job that you you oh, would make you happiest hell. by any sense. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I hate retail, man. I did that shit. Yeah, it's but a, it's basically a retail yeah, exactly. manager. Yeah, job. that's what I mean. Yeah, it doesn't sound like what you should be doing. No, it's but, not. Well, but it's 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 to make some money. So, but the one side, yeah, yeah, I know, but. Because it's not about starting our career right now. Because we're still half thinking. But then, maybe you should apply for something that you should could see yourself doing a bit well, more. Well, so one aspect that I liked was so they're gonna do it's like a health store basically. So they're selling right. all these like oils yeah, yeah. and supplements, blah blah blah. Oh, so yeah, no, I keep saying yeah because I know, but they don't. Yeah, tell the and um, that's what I'm trying to get better at explaining what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I just clock myself there, and I know I've yeah. been doing that a lot. Yeah, no, I try and yeah. make you explain. Okay, I'm thank st- you. I'm steering, I'm, steering sh- I'm steering this shit. Well, we all know I'm the cabin boy. Don't worry, I'm 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 on today. I've mocked the depths, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you damn right, boy. I'm coming. Why have I got to go there? I was about to say, come and suck I know, this dick. I know. Why have I got to go? I thought you were going to say, come and mop this dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was going to say. <laughs> Why, though? Because Why did my brain fun. go there? Because it's fun. Because uh, dick's a great word. What was it? Yeah, so. Dick. What <laughs> this dick. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about a whole You're other high, aren't dick, you, by the way. boy. You, you're high. <laughs> I'm high. Um, yeah. Yeah. So he said, "Part of I, I just, no, that's not where we were. We, you were if I had a fart, I'd fart into the camera. That's how I feel about the job. All right. So ask. Awesome. <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> that's what I should have said to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah so part of the job role is I, I'm bored of talking about. It. All right. Well, let's stop talking about let's it. Move fart on. into the mic. Oh, God, I wish I could fart. Yeah. I need a pee. Can I piss on the mic? Uh, no. Really soggy this bit, this whole boofy bit. Ugh. If you go to the toilet, I'm gonna wipe my uh, ball sack on your mic and not tell you. Well, I'm not going to the toilet. And video it and then release. Okay, it. but I'm not going to the toilet. Um, right, last and subject of the evening. Said it. I was quite enjoying myself, but yeah, you just keep wrapping it up, mate. No, no. All right, a couple more subjects. Anyway, what current events you got? I did have a current event actually. I should look. hope so. You're the current events guy. I'm the guy who does no research and just sort of <laughs> shows up and kind of. Dead to the atmosphere. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, what well, th- an interesting aspect of it. So, um, did you hear, see about this boxing fight between the YouTube dudes? I I heard about. it I didn't see it. So I don't know. Like I think I heard it was very one sided. It was, but I f- I uh, I don't want to go into the fight because right. it's like whatever. Okay. But um, I could break it down with my expertise, <laughs> but I'm not going to go into it. All that I was interested in was the next day when I went on YouTube to watch it. So it's been. Uh, up for 24 hours yeah and it's got 15 million views right and then i go on to mayweather mcgregor and it's got like 7 million views yeah like that's kind of interesting no mm-hmm. and then what it got me thinking is <coughs> after the fight the dude who won calls out rio ferdinand oh it they lie who, who, yeah who's, who's doing his like boxing thing yeah 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 and then i was like this is an opportunity for Superstar, because like the big thing in like boxing and and MMA is here. There's no superstars. Yeah. There's Conor McGregor in UFC. Name another one. You can't. Nate Diaz, blood. Not a star. He's big. Chael Sonnen doesn't even fight in UFC anymore. In boxing, who's the biggest stars? Canelo. Mayweather, Anthony, Anthony Joshua. Joshua. So Hitchco, let's say um, we could name <coughs> on two hands probably one the stars. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now. Let me let me uh, hit you with some some, some <laughs> thoughts here. Okay. Would you pay to see yes. Mark Wahlberg fight Kevin Hart? Yes. Now, 
Think of the millions of fans. Like, yeah. Think of the stars. Like, think how much that would generate. I was thinking, I wonder if these stars who are into their fitness boxing are thinking, there's a market here, man. Yeah, I mean, who was the one Mayweather wanted Don't to promote? Soldier that? Boy versus yeah, uh, um, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Yeah. That never happened, though. Um, I wonder why it never happened. So I bet you one of them bitched out. They were like, oh, fuck this. Yeah, definitely. Um, there was a, remember that celebrity death match thing? The cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, they knew it was going to happen, bro. It was, it was, it, it's, 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 it's it, it, eventually. But it's a legit idea because, like, when you get two stars, you make so much money in these sports. Yeah, yeah. Like, I always say, I want to see uh, Trump fight Kim Jong un. Yeah. In an eight round, no the, hold that, bar. Let, let's, let's not lie, right? That would be the biggest fight of all time. Every single person Hell on the planet yeah. would basically watch that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there'd be the people who are like, it's morally wrong. I'd actually rather see Barack versus uh, Donald. And the winner for, a, for not even a title match for the presidency. Imagine that's how it started election time. Yeah. <laughs> and if you win by stoppage, they have to retire all businesses. And then you just get like <laughs> some thugs coming in like, right, so I can be president if I just bat a bad head. <laughs> <laughs> no, what would happen is like you'd get fucking Anthony Joshua would be prime minister of England. Yeah. Uh, I'd be vice president through my jujitsu. But then with the there'd have to be rules because it c c can't just be like, all right, if I kill Anthony Joshua, now I'm president. Well, now we're going down a weird rabbit hole. Let's keep it how my <laughs> legitimate idea of these superstars could definitely make money. Man. Yeah, of course they could. I wonder why they don't. Why well, they don't want to get punched in the face? Yeah, that's not their thing. They make, they make millions by just not getting punched in the face. Yeah, that's not their... Yeah. Uh, Hey, I'm just not going to... Why did you bring to bro, you can make like 50 million by just fighting this guy. Yeah, or I could just like make a film, not get any brain damage and uh, get, I'll get punched in the face. Get, not, get not have to go gym world, every day. Get world round recognition. People yeah. will love me for it. Like. Yeah, that's true. But I'm saying like there's these... But then... Yeah, Rio Ferdinand's not a star, is he? Let's be real. No, but a lot of football fans will watch that that wouldn't necessarily watch a boxing fight. Yeah, but they won't pay... X amount of money to do it. Maybe not, yeah. Like, his fight is not yeah, going to be then, on, on box office. Yeah, I but, guarantee it. Okay, but what about that YouTuber's fight? Was, that was Bro, all he, YouTube views, right? Yeah, but, okay, so KSI alone has 17 million subscribers. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying, did they, it wasn't, no one had to pay to watch that fight. I think you did, yeah, on YouTube. I don't think so. Look it up. I don't think you did because I know my type brother in, and his in, mate watched it on their phone. So yeah, but they I, might be streaming it. Type in KSI. Yeah, they v probably are streaming it, but that's YouTube Live, I think it was. No, no, I'm I'm saying illegally streaming. It. Type I in, don't think so. Type in KSI v Weller you, or pay per view. Just type in that. And if they didn't make it pay per view, they're definitely missing out. Like surely they could. Yeah, but I don't think that's their thing. Isn't it? That's YouTube is a uh, twenty million views. No, it, bro, it, it, it's YouTube, isn't it? Are you sure? Yeah. Tickets, KSI. No, that's just a ticket for the stadium. Yeah. Type in, do I have to pay to watch KSI v. Joe Weller? Um... Keep talking, bro. Fill the airways. Jesus Christ. No, sorry. I'm better high off your fumes. Uh, How you will to be watch able the to fight. see the fight live on both him and him's YouTube channel. Okay. They just had it live on both their YouTube channels. They probably just bought them so much dough just from that then, the views and all that shit. Yeah, but the the point is how many of those people would have paid to watch that fight? It wouldn't have that many views if, if you had to pay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know this. Like, okay, so McGre yeah, so McGregor and Mayweather are ten times bigger stars than these two, yeah. Yeah, and they did what four and a half million buys, something like that, roughly, whatever it was. So they're not going to do more than that, are they? They wouldn't. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I mean, twenty million YouTube views is different to twenty million people paying twenty pounds to watch it. Which yeah, but think, think how many people watched it. Yeah, mm. millions of people watched that. Yeah, mm. pay per view. So how Who, many Mayweather and McGregor? Mayweather and McGregor. Yeah. So how many of them have bothered to go back and watch the YouTube video of it? Uh, you know, still, you, you get your mate. They got twenty million because that's that was everyone who's watched it. Yeah, that is every person who's watched it. Whereas 
you've just got seven million there. Plus, you haven't got all. There's highlight reels who that's probably got ten million views. There's probably this that's got that. Yeah, and then and then there's the pay per view, and then there's the fact that it had like thirty. But just or think, however many just think like there. sometimes like. We, we throw these numbers and it was there. on the news and shit you know people would see it on the news and then they don't have to go to watch it on YouTube and shit sure but without comparing it yet think how many people 20 million people is like sometimes we just say oh 20 million like think how many people that is these are two dudes who just make videos in their bedrooms or started off just making videos in their bedrooms yeah and 20 million people yeah, are watching it's, them it's, yeah it's a lot it's insane but at the same time it, like like we said before like That's you know, more you've got these spanish people who have 4 billion views on their videos yeah you, we don't know them in it like 20 million isn't necessarily you know 4 billion doesn't even equate in some st- sometimes you know what i mean what people of course it fucking has half yeah, the world yeah it equ- oh yeah okay but but I'm saying I see what you're saying but we don't but we don't billion. know who and 90% if I m- said this random Spanish song yeah to n- anyone that we know they wouldn't know it yeah but it's got like 2 billion views mm. things you know it's still I don't know just it, it's all like they say in America you know if you if you are a rapper who's bare big in your state you can become a millionaire without anyone out of that state knowing you Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, but you're just world, you're state famous. State famous. State famous. <laughs> That's quite cool. There's a lyric in there somewhere for you, mate. No, we don't have states. I'm county famous, blood. But Post no one in my there. county know me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Post says, bro. You got to rap about who you want to happen. Uh, yeah, I do, but I don't care about the Why everyone now? knowing me Why in my now? area. Why is that now? Because I don't care. Because I wasn't sure what what that lyric even meant. But yeah, because I don't ca- want everyone in my area to know me. I like the one where he says, uh, "Sound about his gold teeth, and you'll see me from the nosebleeds." <laughs> so good, <laughs> great. Post if you're out of this, then you're you're great, mate. <laughs> you're achieving greatness. Don't stop. Don't listen to Jordan. He's a hater. You're, you're achieving greatness. I like his music. It's just not my favorite music. Well, he produced the greatest album of all time. Okay. So what is it called? Stony. Ah, uh, you think I know that, did you, mate? <laughs> Don't trick me out there. <laughs> How many tracks? Like trance, bro. Trance. <laughs> oh, you know, I thought you, I thought you were saying trance, the rapper. And then I was like, isn't it chance, the rapper? Yeah, and then oh, I didn't oh. want to bellow that, so I just said, oh yeah, trance. Like, uh, uh, yeah, fuck trance, you, mate. mate. Fuck you. Like yeah. House. So, uh, moral of the story. <laughs> I go. You need to come on. We're having bants. Sad face. <laughs> we're trying to get this dude James on the podcast. Yeah, he's not having it. He's a funny He's not cat. Commi- I think committing. he'd be he'd be a good podcaster if he just calms it would down. It'll be it would be a very it would be, be an intense podcast. It'll be carnage. It'll be We have to control him. <laughs> We're not sure. At one point, we were like, "Is it the roid rage?" But now it's like. I'm sure he's come off the roids. Yeah, I think it's just. It's just. I think he's got Prolonged a. Ra- is it just a, a a world rage? Yeah, he's an angry man. Why are you angry, I understand. James? I understand why he's angry. Do. But you, yeah, because the Why world's fucked and it's horrible, and I'm very angry as well. But we got to like slightly control. Am I probably the least angry person you know? I've got to be up there, right? Well, yeah, without a doubt. Top like five. Yeah. I was, so I was You're telling my mum about mauling this woman with my door. Wow. Why aren't you angry? And then I was like, if that had happened to me, yeah, and you know this to be true, I wouldn't have got up and shouted at the dude. Yeah. I'd have been, oh, no worries, man. Like, yeah, I'm a bit fucked. Like. But yeah, I wouldn't but have, it wouldn't have made me mad. Like. I'd have probably done this. Actually, I might have switched. I think you'd have switched, but I don't think you'd have like started punching no, a dude's no, door no, and stuff. No, like. 100%, no. I think you're like, it's like an immature response. To yeah, it is. Like, a little in bit, my yeah. opinion. Yeah, that is 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't fucking wipe you out. Of Why aren't you angry? I don't know. I don't know. What, what, how, when you look around at this world, anger, why aren't you angry? Anger is a wasted emotion, in my opinion. It is. Like worry is it a is, wasted it emotion. It is, but, but were you ever angry? My mum remembers one time where... No, but like... <laughs> oh, right, yeah, go on, sorry. Yeah, just would like to tell my story. Joint podcast. <sighs> um, you bored where, me. Where, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to open up here, man. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to open up. Where um, on, my brother, story. my brother hits me. I'll shorten the story. Hits me, and I used to have all these. Do you remember the the uh, magazine match? Yeah, yeah, classic. And used to get the posters, the players, mm-hmm. and I'd cut them out, blue tack them to the wall. Nice. Like my whole wall, huge wall, used to be uh, 
just match posters of all my favorite players. Nice. And I ripped down every poster, crying my eyes out, screaming. They watched me. Then I curled up into a ball, cried for an hour, screaming, and then fell asleep for like 24 hours. Nice. That's the only time mom remembers me going like insane. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. So, it's not. So, don't chat shit to me. I think it's a wasted emotion. Yeah, of course it's a wasted emotion, but you just got lucky and don't have this anger in you. Maybe it's not lucky. Maybe you just yeah, didn't get angry. I just don't get that mad. Like. The f- the f- like when you watch the news and shit, then you just get a bit pissed off. Uh, yeah. But I don't just like rage. I try and think of a logical solution. And what but I would do usually if I was is in just that turn position. off the news. I stopped watching news at one point because I found it so I depressing. Did. I don't watch the news. And then I got really stupid and hated the fact that when someone would debate an issue, I had no idea what it was about. Mm. So now I try and read up a little bit. And yeah. I don't watch TV though. Yeah, I, I, I just read. I don't like to watch because then I get angry. When how I watch, I hear people speak. How often do you watch TV now? Never. I never, ever watch TV. No. I watch Netflix in the evenings. Yeah, l- maybe I watch a bit of Friends at night. A bit I don't even watch nine. that. Don't even watch that. I watch mm. zero TV now. Yeah, but that's not TV. That's like just watching an episode of... Sh- well, it is TV, I guess. It's but like, yeah, you're going to watch a yeah. show that will be on TV. Yeah, but then so. watching Animal Channel is like <laughs> watching TV. You know how much animal shit I watch. Yeah, how much do you like ever look at the things I send you? Yes. Because I send Jordan 10 videos a day of, did you Animals watch the... Uh, farting. Horses <laughs> farting. <laughs> and fucking... Like, it's just... it's it, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how they came up on my Little thing. gazelles being more. I saw like, the... the ho- if you haven't ever watched a horse fart yeah, watch horse relief fart. <laughs> <laughs> how hilarious is it? He just like cocks his hind legs up and yeah. just goes to town, man. And it's so powerful, it blows the sand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great video. And the one today, so your daily dose of animal oh, yeah. today was uh, the buffalo is being attacked by two hyenas. I call them hyena. By two hyenas. They and, have male uh, and female organs. You know when it nips, turns around. Nips, turns around. Nips. So it's like constantly battling with two guys. And then the one hyena just latches onto the nutsack, man. Oh. And it's like, you know, like when uh, like a dog... And it's like walking with its hind legs and the balls are like trapped between yeah, its back legs. Yeah, so yeah. it was like a nice tight, oh, tight taut. ball to sack ratio, a taut sack. God. Like imagine squeezing your sack together. Like, yeah, it was like mm. that. And then hyena just latched on, mm. pulled, and the nut sack just came off. Gadoosh. Oh, like, oh, God. God damn, bro. And God you know how damn. they ate him? Just from the arsehole inwards, man. So they both went round to the booty hole oh, and shut just ate up, him. Bro. So imagine they pulled his balls off ate the arse can you describe this more scientifically and stop being all like just making it yeah, like sexual yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's <laughs> the bit that's f- free, that's funny <laughs> you make it all like weird and sexual <laughs> like he just latched onto the tight balls and like, <laughs> ripped them off and then he started from the inside of the anus and slowly came out eating away at the fleshy wound <laughs> oh it was fleshy at that point God, shut up I made me feel sick made me feel sick watching it you i felt for the it. poor buffalo you loved it someone film here goes should we kill the buffalo like every dude uh, every dude watches that video and goes oh kill it <laughs> oh one yeah. thing i want to talk to you about yeah, straight i got an interesting uh you know how i like my documentaries watched three last night mm-hmm. um so it was uh they went to america and they were talking that you look incredibly comfortably high right now yeah i'm in a nice place <laughs> you're in a good place I'm right? in a decent place you're you're witnessing happy high Jordan because normally you listen to Jordan in the afternoon where he's not allowed to smoke so he's agitated Jordan now you have happy high Jordan kind of I've still got this like vibe of like anxiety running through like my sternum right now do you really yeah it's like fuzzy it's like bubbly and shit god I miss my anxiety man now I'm just on boring square I yeah, need it square. I need it I don't know if I can hang out with you anymore. I had a tinge when this job interview came up don't don't force it, mate. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to just force it now, isn't it? It wasn't bad. I got over it and went there and was fine. Fuck. Fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Fine. Wonder why does the whoa, what's that, why does our voice mm-hmm. sometimes go? Mm-hmm. Because we're still going through PB. Have you ever had a conversation with someone who you're not comfortable with and you'll just be talking? You'll be like, yeah. So I was oh, and, like, oh, and then you try to style it out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you always style it out. Yeah, but sometimes you stop. You're like. Um, yeah, so I watched I this go. documentary. And it's, it's, it was fucking some of it. I nearly cried, man. It got the old tears going. Um, some hyena documentary made you cry. 
No fuck face. Uh, so they go to America. <laughs> they go to America, and uh, they're talking about the culture of like, like in America, it's insane. Like they'll they'll try and keep you alive, like at any cost. Mm. When you have these like crazy fucking illnesses, man. Mm. So like one dude is like, it's sad as well. Like he's like thirty and he's had cancer, yeah? and he's had like four bouts of uh, chemotherapy hair's gone he's in pain like you can just tell he's like he's done and the doctor was like look like i don't really know what to offer you other than like let's make your last couple of weeks as comfortable as possible mm. send you home da, da, da. and they followed like loads of people yeah and he's like oh what about another batch like, well we could do another bout of chemotherapy but like the, the he says to her after she doesn't really say it in the room but he, she's like to the, he's like to the doctor what's the chance of this working she goes probably as close to zero percent as you can get mm. so i think how like fucking like chemotherapy's a cunt man. yeah like, yeah that's fucking hardcore so shit. they say to him like you sure you want to do this and he's like well it's the option between nothing or something and they're like well it's not nothing it's like a couple of weeks of like just being but anyway he wants to do it yeah and then killed him the next day his body couldn't like hack it yeah and then like uh, Louis Fru did it was like yeah it was sad man because like so he watched they got married in the hospital a few days before and stuff like mm. do you know what I mean and then like so then and then like they showed another like uh, Vietnamese lady whose brother had had a stroke he was like in a coma for three years and he just wasn't coming out man and she's like keeping him alive keeping him alive and the doctor's like look he's not gonna wake up mm. he's probably gonna die for but then like it's like would you want to be kept alive I don't know so then they have this this uh, black dude in there and he's like, I, don't, I, I can't remember what it was, but he had an accident yeah. and he was in a coma and they said, if you're in a coma more than a week, usually you're not coming back or if you do, you're, you're a vegetable. Mm. So he's been in a coma for three months and they're going to the family, look, like if, it's, if you want our medical opinion, we're going to say, pull the plug kind of thing. Yeah. And they're just like, no, sorry, like we believe in God. He's gonna miracles gonna happen, and you're f- watching it, thinking, come on, man, let's yeah. not like. But then, like, you obviously you're understanding that it's their family. Mm-hmm. But the fucking long story short, the dude wakes up. So they go to him. Best case, absolute, this miracle would be if he wakes up and he won't know who he is. He won't be able to wipe his own ass. Won't be able to eat. He'll be in a bed for the rest of his life. Yeah. He'll be in the care. Da 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 da. Bro, the documentary ends with him walking through the ward of the all the nurses that looked after him and they're like all like crying and it's just like fuck man the guy was like it's literally one in five million yeah. that this happened and then so he goes so to the doctor he's like so were you wrong and they were like well yeah but like if we she's like now it's going to make it hard she goes in a way this is amazing but it's also hard because the next family i yeah. deal with do i say to them well it has happened and i've seen it happen yeah or do i say disappoint. it's a one yeah. in a million chance and if you say, if it's your family and it's a one in a chance, you're going to take. Well, that you every still time. say it's a one in a trillion chance of them. Yeah, but you say that to somebody whose son or daughter. Yeah, or no, fan, of course they're, they're going to take that yeah, glimmer probably. of hope and run with it. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm ever a vegetable, I want it on record. Just cut me off, man. Pull on that plug. That's long. I can't just run up in there and pull the plug. Now you tell my mum. You say, "Listen, man. Okay. This is on YouTube. Play it." Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Bit morbid. A bit morbid, yeah. The whole fucking conversation was not how we got well, into no, this whole fucking. Well, it ended beautifully, man. He walked through the ward. He was alive. It was a miracle. Yeah, right? still, man. He took us through. My mum was telling me as well. Interestingly, how fucked up is this? So, there was a dude who sat down at the table with his mum, and yeah. they had this conversation we're having now. And he goes, "If I'm ever in that state, vegetative mm. state, please just like put me out of my misery." Out, yeah. Fucking next week has some mad accident, yeah. coma. Been in it. I'm not sure how long they're keeping alive. They they work out that he can move one eye. Yeah. So they ask him the same questions every day for like a period of time, for like a few months, and they work out like this yes no system. Like this might be like factually incorrect, but basically they work out a yes no system, and he tells them that he wants to be kept alive. Hmm. Deep shit, man. Yeah. So he thought if I ever was in that state, kill me. But then once you're in it, you're like fuck, man. Just I still want to live, you know. That's fucked up. What'd you do? I don't know. Fucking developed a little eye system, then I'll just <laughs> decide once we develop that. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm done with it, yeah. Fuck this. Yeah, fuck it. 
I don't know, man. Maybe I'll be blessed, isn't it? Maybe I can. <laughs> no, they're like. Maybe they're I can like, then have the silence I've always wanted. <laughs> they're like, they're like, no, Jordan, you're not actually in a coma anymore. You're fine. Just kill me. <laughs> Pull the plug. Yeah. No, but Jordan, there's nothing wrong with you. You've just walked in here. Like, you're, you're fine. <laughs> kill me, bro. <laughs> End it. End. <laughs> you should look into that size. I'm done. End it. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Do it. <laughs> just hey, do it. My mom told me a funny story today. Classic. She goes, uh a friend of hers they take these old people out to like see a film it's like uh, they're at home and they don't get out much and they're showing them this film and apparently halfway through one of the old women just shouts out take me home now <laughs> 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 just had enough of you guys I'm like, done treat days over take me home good honour I like that I like that too shit film shit film <laughs> <laughs> shit film take me home yeah I did it once with my granddad I remember we were playing uh we were playing do you remember like table football yeah yeah we used to have red we used to do red v blues he was always uh bristol city red and i was rovers in blue right and i remember thinking like we're playing for ages like this is going on a while like he's obviously must be like really enjoying it so i'm gonna like give him the grandson time like i'm not i'm kind of over it kind of thing (laughs) and i remember just like half over the game he's just like I'm going to go and sit down now. <laughs> and I was just thinking, oh shit, you've been doing what I've been doing to yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. None yeah. of us are enjoying it, but we think the other guy is, so we carry on. God, I better think I should be spending more time with my granddad. Yeah, well, my situation is even more unique than your one. Yeah, you see it way more. Yeah. But it's like, it's not like, it's like he comes over for dinner on a Friday with a fam, and it's not like grandfather, grandson time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Would you ever like call your granddad and be like, hey man, let's go out and get something to eat or let's go and do this? Never. Why? Because it'd be weird or you just... I'm not going to lie, I don't really get on with him. Oh, really? Nah. In but what, still. In what way? Like, you just find the way he's just stuck in his ways, isn't it? So he just, we we just, it's just like, it's just a bit monotonous. When we came to your uh, little brother's birthday and I was sat down at dinner, he just looks at me and goes, who are you? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. He's just a bit, <coughs> bit superficial. Old people are, man. I went to a barbecue once, and uh, there was an older gentleman there. Mm. Uh, and he, s- I, I walked in, and he stood up. He was wearing a jacket and, yeah. and put his arms out, and like ushered me to like take <laughs> his jacket <laughs> off for him. <laughs> I just found myself doing it. Like, okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> Yeah, see, that's, I do that for my granddad. I take his jacket off. Well, yeah, for your own granddad, that's nice. Back, that's nice, but for hey, hey, random old dude. I brush the shoulders. Hey, random old dude. I don't know who you are. Fix the hat. You fix the hat. Yeah, it's maybe that's why you don't get. And on then me. I give it a he's flick. Thinking, he's thinking, get the fuck off my hat, man. Probably. Yeah. Maybe I'll stop. Don't touch his hat. I'll stop with Imagine that. you stop touching the hat and your your uh, relationship blossoms. <laughs> so Jordan, the pub, great. Do you so. know what it is with old people? They get on to you as well. Yeah, they get on to you. Like, bro. they it's get on to off, you. Like, I'll finish my degree and my grandma will so have you got a job yet? Well, no, it's been seven hours. <laughs> like, you know, I'm going to go and take a shit and like recharge the old batteries. Yeah, they're, they're on to you, man. Yeah. yeah. I remember being in my second year of uni and my grandma going, literally not even looking at me. I'm at the table going to my mom. He's wasting his time at university. He should be getting a trade. <laughs> Cheers, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like they just want to make you feel shitty about your life. Yeah, but that's it. I can't hang out with that, innit? I? Like, yeah. I'll see him when he's there, innit? I need a positive but, vibe, man. But then lately, I've just thought, like, oh, God, if he's he's on borrowed time, surely, at this stage. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It's a great saying. You're on borrowed time. <laughs> <laughs> like, your time's done. You're borrowing time now. <laughs> That time could be used by someone else, man. <laughs> God. It can get heavy, man. Like, when my nan was, like, really old and she just, like, didn't want to live anymore and she was just, oh, I want to die. Like, it's just, like, oh, it's God, so it it's so heavy, man. Like It is just, heavy. I f- yeah. Oh, God. It is just heavy shit. And it's, like, what do you say to that? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, like you say yeah, it, we do. joke around, but, like, they genuinely don't want to be here. And Neither it's do like, I. But, <laughs> um, I never know whether you're joking or not. I'm not. I just learned to say it with a smile. I remember uh, at uh, A levels when you first started joking about about being depressed, it just became a massive joke for like five years. Yeah, but it wasn't a joke. I was massively depressed. It's correct, but <laughs> our way of dealing with it became we, we joke about it. Yeah, yeah. We still kind of do. Yeah, we still do. You gotta laugh at these things, man. You gotta laugh at the lemons. You gotta laugh. 
Otherwise, you... Would. If you laugh at the lemons long enough, they turn to lemonade. Lime juice. That could work. Yeah, I agree, man. Anything in life can be laughed at. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Like a woman getting taken out by your door. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. You was laughing as well, so I was saying, uh, I was telling someone a story and I was like, oh, like, what a bitch. Like, she hit my door and I was like, they were like, uh, she's going home going, the story she this can't telling, yeah. fucking wipe me out. Then he that, laughed yeah. at me. He didn't give a shit. And he I was like, closed the door. He was, yeah. yeah. But hey, you're trying to attack. He called me a crazy bitch. Do you know what would be more entertaining? I'd like to let this role play out. If I got out, uh, so say she wasn't stuck under the door yeah. and I was just, a. <clears throat> <coughs> got out straight away to help her yeah because yeah. she have definitely tried to punch me in the face probably yeah probably but no offence and hashtag no sexist happened. like the girl punches are very disappointing unless you're like Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg like you, know you don't know she might do a little bit of fucking Thai boxing on the side nah she was fat out of shape well that means she just had more power in her punch she looked like dog shit you know that but God, you're so vile and uncouth sometimes yeah, it says the man who called Christians cunts on the last podcast. They are cunts. <laughs> yeah, so shut your mouth, bro. <laughs> it's different. Trying to come out. It's different. I'm shit, coming yeah. at more people. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm singing. Bro- yeah, you're, you're right. Singing yeah, someone you're out. Right. You're really, you know, you're, you're attacking a character. So you'd be less offended if I said uh, Christians are all cunts than if I called one lady who is overweight overweight. No, nah, I hate fat people. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we have a podcast called yeah, like Fattest with, and with Proud? Fattest and proud. <laughs> <laughs> you know what fucks me up, yeah? Uh, overweight people who are like, I just can't lose the weight. Yeah, you're not like a fucking biological miracle. Anomaly, yeah. like if you that. stop eating and move, you'll lose weight like everyone else who fucking isn't fat and like moves and eats not fucking pizza every day. That pisses me off. Didn't they prove something about some people's genes that just... Oh, I don't care. Mm-hmm. You're not. Good. No one is programmed to be morbidly obese. No one is programmed to be no. obese. No. no one is programmed to be forced on. Like, just no. Like. Well, you know what I think it is? I think some people were programmed to have a bigger appetite because their predecessors had a big Maybe. appetite but they were doing shit so yeah. that big appetite they didn't become obese they just become bare strong but and these people who have those genes ain't doing shit but they've still got that appetite but there's also like you're always going to be lean yeah I'm always going to be bigger than you but p- probably podgier than you calm down bro I'm coming for you <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying like the likelihood is yeah. I'm going to go seven inches <laughs> in the next four years maybe I uh, hopefully do bro but shut the f- what I'm saying is like it's, uh, I'm getting angry. The weird's running out. You're always going to be leaning to me. I'm always going to punch you. I'm probably always going to be stronger than you. Like, we we have... Yeah, it's... It, we yeah, got that's boundaries. who we are. You can then uh, progress and better yourself, which we've both done it with training, or you can not move and go the other way. It's like a chess game, mate. Yeah, there's rules in place, but there's a lot of moves in between. There's a lot of moves. A lot of moves. I get the moves. <laughs> and then there's another of my favorite ones. Like, oh, like, she's been through like a really emotional time and she's turned to food. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'd be like, bro, have a month of it. No heroin does the job much. <laughs> yeah, but just like all these excuses, like, and you know, and it's like, someone would like say, I remember someone saying this to me, like they were out for dinner and someone was like, kept going out for like cigarettes and like, da, da, mm. and they're like, oh, don't you know you're killing yourself? And like, re- I made the atmosphere like really awkward. Yeah. But no, no one says that to like the 30 stone dude who's ordered like seven portions of fucking God. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, yeah. And it's this awkward stigma where we can't say like, oh, you're mm. like, if I said to him, imagine me saying to like an overweight person, you're, you're fat as shit and you're killing yourself. I just, I just think that. It's so rude. It's like, so rude. I figure this woman, this fat woman who comes into the pub and every time she gets four toasties, yeah. And four. I. Four? Well, one by one over the space of about two, three hours, yeah. Right. And and I ju- and I just think when I'm having uh, that fourth, just looking at it, I'm just thinking, really, really, yeah. You need that one, do you? I agree. You that hungry right now? Mm-hmm. Are they hungry though, or are they greedy? You know, I can eat. Yeah, well, at but a certain I'd stop myself. S- at a certain stage, they get, they are hungry constantly because they've just annihilated their like fucking tolerance to food. <laughs> I, I I just think as human beings, Probably, yeah, yeah, and now I'm going to expand further than just being fat. We love to just, I feel like... We're greedy, people, selfish, ugly animals. No, but p- shut the fuck up. 
people have serious issues in life yeah mm. and there's diseases and mental health issues which fuck people over and it's horrible however however how <laughs> look at my hand however how? <laughs> however we also love to just make shit up man like oh I we have made this it all up. I have this so I can't do this just like these made up ailments this is all a figment made of your up. imagination trying to have a serious conversation here I know <laughs> you're baked out of your mind <laughs> you're just, you look so high bro. I leave can't me do. alone and you're, talk about your shit you're right? stoned and you're wearing fat homer t-shirt <laughs> your hair's gone all poofy <laughs> you've got a mic in one hand you look like you're about to interview me <laughs> so um, what were you saying these this, these these yeah, people just we just like love to Maybe. make shit up. Like, oh, I'm fat because of this, or oh, right, rather yeah. than just saying like, oh, I'm lazy and I don't move enough. Yeah, because oh, oh I can't, I can't, uh, I can't go and like get a job because like I have this. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, we just invent these things. Like, I reckon you know what? Too many people out there yeah, hate themselves but don't know it, or they do know it but they're just not. <laughs> You just have to just go they're back not, to everyone just hates They're themselves. not willing to... You don't realise yet uh, the amount of people... Bring out it out of themselves. You don't realise the amount of people out there yet that love themselves no, too much. No, they don't even, bro. They hate themselves no. secretly. That's why they love themselves. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, I don't know, man. I think everyone hates themselves. I think everyone's got that guilt, survivor's guilt, <laughs> for all those billions of sperms that died in the big <laughs> race. <laughs> Survival guilt. <laughs> I saw three billion brothers splattered on the side of a vagina. Although I do think when I see some people like, how the fuck did you win that sperm race? What was the other sperms doing? Like, like what was the standard you were up against? Swimming into walls, bro. Literally. Sugar walls. <laughs> 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 Um, it would be tempting to just stay in the warm, cozy. Can we just take a walls? moment to acknowledge the fact that we won the big, like one of the most epic races of all time, like yeah. insane race? Mm-hmm. You saying Bolt? Congratulations, ain't. mate! Congratulations, bro! You did Usain well. Usain Bolt ain't got shit on me, but then he won his race. And everyone listening right now, well done! Congratulate, pat yourself on the back. You won. Yeah, if you're sitting at oh, home depressed, just think about you've never achieved nothing. Incorrect. Incorrect. You've won a, such a big race. It could, for all we know, it could have been the biggest race ever, depending on how many uh, sperm were That's in That's the name set. of this podcast. Think you've underachieved, question mark, dot, 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 incorrect. Or can, what about, yeah. yeah you've what? just got nothing, haven't no, you? No, because I want something about the big race. I think the big race is a good, is a good. But also, what did we talk about? What the was start that film race? Well? With, uh, we, st- we talked about something at the start for ages. I'm so baked off your bakedness yet. What, I, I, don't know, talk, I don't know where I am. What did we talk about at the start? What did we talk about at the start? What did we talk about? No, no, we're doing it. Mid love. Yeah, you didn't even. Know. I was about to nunchuck you in the face there, bro. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> what a great film. Great film. <laughs> You know what? I will have that meatloaf. <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> meatloaf! Bring it Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I do, I, I quote lines like that to my mom and she doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> meatloaf! She's like, calm, can you stop <laughs> shouting at me? <laughs> no, I always come up to my mom, what are you doing here? I never know what you're doing. I never know what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What do they do, though, these They're moms? They're always doing what things. What are they doing? I don't know. What did we talk about at the start of this podcast? It was like a big subject that we talked about for ages. Ish. Oh, we were talking about, like, uh, fame... Oh, that's it. Yeah, what whatever. motivates people at yeah. the start of careers? Yeah, yeah. That's Tackling right. key issues, Jordan. We're changing the way the world Do works. Do you know what I did think when uh, you and James were arguing about like moon landings and all yeah. this shit and agricultural that, shit? I was thinking, us three especially, I like the fact we, we the discussions we have now are so different to what we spoke about four years ago. Oh, yeah. Where no, we just sure. talk about like football and FIFA and who's got the bigger dick. And, like, and we still talk about that, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but we also are now more interested in yeah, actual less important so. shit. Yeah, for sure. Maturity. For sure. Maturity. For sure. For sure. Keep it a hundred certified. Oh, I like that. I like that. Uh, Put that straight in my bread basket. Oh, God. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, God. You're getting me all flustered. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, this has become a little bit weird. Um, yeah, we're going to go and fuck. <laughs> 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 Bend over. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of school where someone came into my music class and goes, excuse me, sir, is there a Ben Dover in here? <laughs> <laughs> I get bear calls. At the, oh, I used to, there was a point at the pub where I got like bear calls and the aunt would be like, oh, do you, what sort of ciders have you got on at the moment? <laughs> and I'm like, um, like, I'm naming it. Yeah, but do you have dick inside? <laughs> and I I know what you're doing. <laughs> all right, it's not funny. Why? When did prank calls stop being fun? I remember. I remember we they used to do. Uh, you who could c- prank call someone and keep them on the phone the longest? Mm. Oh, do you know it'd be great, but I don't have the balls to do. It. Would be a live uh, prank call. Yeah, we should do it. That would be great. What do you mean? One for one still works, right? Yeah, no, but like, who do you call, man? Any number. You just type a number in. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, do you know what you should do? Just get anyone. So say like a girl or, or dude answers, yeah? Like, it doesn't matter. You just start like proper like going like ham like, look, babe, I'm so fucking... Thank you for answering. I'm so sorry. And then every time she shows me, no, babe, just yeah, let me yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah, no, babe, <laughs> shut up. Just let me fucking get this out. Like, I'm never going to say it. Like, look, the sex has been great. And just like, just go on this like mad rant. Like. <laughs> but that's how you started. Like, you're going... Oh, hey, oh, baby, I'm so glad you answered. Don't speak. Yeah. Let me, I got some shit I've got to get off my chest yeah. right now. No, but please, please, baby. I wonder how many people would hang up. I don't know, a lot. Okay. I'd listen. I'd I'd be, if that oh, happened. Hell yeah, I'd start oh. recording it. If, as soon as he said, hey, baby, I'd be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be way more creepy if they were like, fuck it, let's just start having phone sex. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hi, you're live on uh, 101.8. <laughs> <laughs> God. Not even that, just you're live on the anti is nipple, mate. Yeah, 101.8. We're on the radio now. We're at 5 or 5. What's your thing you would say? I, I change it every time. Oh, right. It's always <laughs> live and direct. Though. Live and direct, 555 five, five, oh, right. eight, nine, nine, I like it. I thought you had the same sequence of numbers. No, I just go. Not as impressed. I just do what I do. Not as impressed. I think. Can we have a drunken show next time? <laughs> we could try. Just we could do one on pills. I got some pills. Well. So we ease into it first. Ease in. Yeah, yeah, ease yeah. in. I have severe mental health difficulties. Mm. Well, now I don't. So no, I you're lying. Now. You're lying. What am I going to clutch onto? Maybe I'll just start lying. You can just lie. Everyone else lie. does. Yeah. Everyone else does. Oh, yeah. I'm depressed. Oh, I'm but OCD. Then I'd like, Ooh, some, I'm this, I'd like I'm something new Ooh. though. I like something new. Well, asexual is always a good one. You can say that that's like t- t- makes you this and that. Yeah, but I still wake up with a hard, staunch, oh, staunchy, staunchy tent proper. Yeah, well, my, my, my mum listens to this podcast. I just want to say that. Yeah, it's God. disgusting. Not, <sighs> not, yeah, that's just poor. She thinks she listens to this and just think, where did I go wrong? She, what wrong turns mean, did I take? Rachel, you know, it's okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> a good lad. I'll really. nurture him. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to bet him. We're trying. It's a process. It is a process. My mouth hurts. Where Unfortunately, I've so his much. teacher's a self-loathing cunt. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I've laughed so much that my mouth hurts. Have we laughed that much? Well, I have. Because you're so funny. I'm better funny. You're I'm so funny. funny. I am better funny. I'm ready to wrap. All right, well. Feels like it's come to a natural ending. It a does. It episode. does. It's the longest one ever. Congratulations, Ants. You've been blessed. Good now night. Now they always say congratulations. We could get sued for that, you know. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. You have to change the next lyric. I've got a big fat... I'm just not even going to go there. Good night, guys. Night, guys.